Hey guys, Jungle Explorer here, and I'm going to be changing out this wall switch today. And the reason I'm going to show you how to do this is because this is not a normal wall switch. This is an old mobile home style quick uh, switch. Basically, um, back when they put these things in, they were just really trying to find a way to install outlets and switches in the quickest possible manner. And unfortunately, when you do things quick, they're not good. And these things are really dangerous and so i just bought this old mobile home and i'm upgrading the electrical system in it and i'm getting rid of these and so um this is basically a switch and an, a box all in one um and a junction box you know so it's just not the the best system to work with here but how you get this off is you take a little screwdriver and you put it down here and this back plate begins to come off here There's a little tab you can put that screwdriver down in and push up and then this, this back plate comes off like so. All right, now let me get this thing turned around. As you can see here, um, they don't do any wiring. Basically, they just take the strip, the, the main coating off and just ram the wires down in there um, to make the connection. And that's how they make that connection. And it just is not a really reliable connection. Um, it works for lights okay, but uh, after a while, because it's not actually wired in and stripped and got that pressure, it's just making contact right there. Sometimes it can get a loose connection and it can cause a short, possibly leading to a fire. So I don't really like these things. So I'm gonna pull them out and put some normal light switches in, which are gonna be a lot better. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this this out here. See, you can just see right there, it's just barely cut in there. Really not a lot of contact. Won't handle much amperage at all. And that's all there is to that. So we'll go ahead and just snip that in half right there and snip the ground wire in half. So now that we've got that, that out and cut, we're going to put have to put a wall box because you, you can't just put a switch in there with no box. It needs a box, so we're going to have to cut a hole out to put the box in. So let's do that. To put this box in, the hole isn't going to be quite big enough, so I'm just going to push this back in the wall for right now. Okay, so we're ready to put this box in. I'm just going to line it up here we just need to open the hole up just a smidge in here so we'll uh, line the top the top here and this side and then just mark mark down this side here to right there and that's really all we got to take out it's just a little bit not much not much to it just use it I'm just using my knife here just sheetrock just need it big enough for this box to to fit in there there we go so just kind of carve it out a little bit there once we are sure the box will go in go ahead and pull it out Okay, now let's go ahead and pull our wires back here. There we go. Pull those out. And let's just put them in the box. So just push these in. Sometimes they get caught up on things. Just push them on through. And try to, if there's enough slack in there, pull it out just a little bit. 
so you have something to work with. Sometimes there's not a whole lot of slack and you have to pigtail it, but not in this case. that back in there and push the box in take a screwdriver power screwdriver Phillips don't tighten it up too much it's just a little plastic tab until the box kind of sucks in a little bit box is in there now and we're ready to put our switch in okay so a switch all it does is break the hot wire it doesn't you don't have to in that out in the switch that was here it was connecting both of them but you actually don't need to connect both of them you just need to connect the the hot wire to the switch the uh, the neutral wire does not need to be connected to the switch go ahead and strip this wire out just a little bit just strip it back up into the box Cut that off back there. You just have to be careful when you strip in the the, the uh, outer casing back that you don't you don't nick the internal wires. Okay, so what we're going to do here is 14 gauge wire. Just strip it back. Oh, about a about an inch here. Okay. Take my lineman lineman pliers here and. Uh, Going clockwise, you want to twist these things together really good because you want to make sure you have a good neutral contact. Okay, get you several good wraps where it's real tight, like that. Trim off the end because this is 14 gauge wire. I'm going to be using a yellow wire nut and screw that baby down on there. Like so. Okay, so now that we've got the, the neutrals wired together, we're just going to bend them down and push that back into the back of the box. Now, now to our ground wire here. We're just going to twist this together. Like so. Trim that little piece off. Go ahead and tighten that twist up just a little bit like that. And that's good. Now, let's go ahead and strip out our Okay. So your wire is going to be connected to this side because up is on, down is off. All right. So how you twist these is important because the screws turn clockwise you want to twist in the direction that you're going to tighten so come here stick the wire through just a smidgen oh little almost a quarter inch and bend it back like that okay same thing on this side just a smidgen bend it back like that okay now you hook that in there come on the back side here and pinch it down pinch it down like so you want to pinch it down tight make sure you're you got a good connection there and when you because the wire is going the same direction as a screw literally it squeezes it down tight okay same thing on this side Tight, tight. We're good. Now, our ground wire right here, we're going to twist it the opposite direction. Twist it in the down motion, like so, because this side is going to go the opposite. And 
now that outlet is installed. Okay, so what I like to do is bend it down, kind of make kind of a slinky out of it. Push it back in there, line it up on your screw holes. If there's anything that's really fighting you, go ahead and restart over again. You know, you're dealing with different lengths of, of wire and stuff. You just want it to kind of go back in there without too much resistance. Center it up on the box. Okay, time to put our faceplate on. These are those nylon, what they call indestructible faceplates there. And our switch is installed, off, on, and that's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Look in the description of the video for links to the products you've seen used in this video and also my social media contacts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'd like to see you on there. Contact me there. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out.